November 6, 2012 is a very important day in America. With Election Day approaching, a majority of undecided voters are women. Let's hear what some female voters from Gwinnett County value most. that hasn't been born yet but is living inside of someone. Um, that's a big deal. Um, I want people to think about that. If someone doesn't value life, what can they actually value? Also, uh, we need a president that we don't actually have to depend on and need for every single thing. Um, we need to like take up our own and be successful and stop blaming everyone else for our problems. Um, I think that's what our government has become lately is just someone we can blame for all of our problems. And yes, they do, they are responsible for a lot of things, but it's our own responsibility to be successful and to make the right decisions. So that's what I think we need in a president. Whether it is health care, education, the economy, foreign policy, the national debt, her partner's job security, her job security, or the future that is being molded for her children. A woman brings much more to the polls than just a political party affiliation. Tell you a little bit about what I'm looking for in the next president. As an educator, the topic of education is highly important to me and I'm very passionate about it. We need a president who's going to put children first as far as the field of education. So number one, we need more resources to be poured into schools and to be poured into teachers and that will ultimately be poured into children. Number two, I need a president that's going to change our standardized tests. Not do away with them, but make them more effective and more measurable holistically. And number three, we need the government's support. As an educator, I'm begging you to help us, help us support our future generations. Stop pointing the finger at us, but give us ways that we can ultimately succeed. It is all of us in this together. It is not just educators, it's not just parents, it's everybody. So that is what I'm looking for ultimately in our next president. tough because of everything that's going on. I would like to see, um, regardless, I just want to see them do something with women's health care, especially for women, um, for, for the elderly, to help the elderly out a little bit more. Um, to have a little bit of just peace um, to help out the people that are less fortunate, especially the ones that have the money and I would describe America right now as being broken because we're spending a lot of time trying to figure out other countries' problems instead of trying to figure out what we need to do for us before we can move out and help some. like to see in the next four years is that um, that unity come together and we all pull together to bring this great nation um, to rise above our trials and rise above the things and issues that we've we've come against every time we have a national disaster or a child in trouble the whole nation comes together and rallies and and we're as one and I think that's the only way we're going to make it as if we unify. Okay.